Hello there all my wig friends, I'm Nikki and welcome back to my channel. In store for you today is another wig review. Of course, it's this girl right here. I don't do the installation on camera for you just in case you are new, just letting you know that. I feel it takes up a lot of unnecessary time. I would rather just tell you what you need to know, show you the wig, tell you all the important details so that way you can decide if it's the right wig for you or not. And in return, I always do love to hear from you. So please go down in those comments and give me your respectful feedback. I also do take requests. So if there's a wig you'd like me to review, throw it at me and I will happily look into it for you. And also too, if you are new to my channel, this is the place to be if you are into wig reviews because I bring you the new drops, the oldies book goodies and the ones that are kind of, you know, in between. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a big variety of wigs is what I bring to you and I would hate for you to miss out on any of them. So please join the party as I always say. Click that subscribe button down below. Be sure to also click that little bell too so you will get notified and not miss any of my uploads. And if you have already subscribed, thank you so much. I greatly do appreciate it. So as I said, a wig review today. She's a pretty new drop as well, and I can't wait to tell you all about her. So let's dive on in. And of course, first, I always include makeup with my videos. So let me show you what I'm wearing for my eyeshadow look today. And I am wearing the Mimosa palette from BH Cosmetics. And here it is. This is actually one of my all-time favorite palettes, by the way just in case you were wondering. <laughs> All right, so the wig, I will be showing you the inside cap construction and as well as showing you the stock cards. So let me just tell you a little bit about who I have today. I have a wig from Outre and she's from the Lace Front Deluxe Collection and she is in the style of Verena. So here is her stock card. And uh, she is of course a an HD lace front and I have her in the color DR4 slash Sandy Blonde. Naturally, she is available in several other colors. They usually give you a really good color selection to choose from. They show the special ones on the back. Um, it says here that she has a deeper hand tied edges as well as a five inch deep parting space, pre-plucked lace edges and natural baby hairs. She is heat safe up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and I picked her up from Hair Stop and Shop for $37.50. So of course, we're gonna go over all of that and then some. So let's start off by how she looks from the get-go. She looks beautiful. I knew I was gonna like this style the second I saw her. There's just something very simple about her, but with a little extra class. As I always say, simple but elegant <laughs> because they do go together really well. Just depends on what you're wearing or where you're wearing her to. You know, things like that always come into play. But this is one I think you can definitely wear for casual wear. She just has that simple little wave pattern to her. So I'm liking this a lot, like really a lot. Uh, she is 26 inches long, so let me stand up here. She's just a little bit past the boobs, and I'm 5'4". Used to be 5'5". Five five. I shrunk a little bit, but you can tell I'm a little upset about that. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so yeah, 26 inches long. Her layers up here are also pretty long too, which sometimes can drown you out and just kind of weight it down a little bit. I really wouldn't say that is the case with her though. I think that the way she drapes is really good and really pretty. She just has that like nice natural flow to her. So I'm here for that. Definitely here for that. She's got some body. I mean, look, look at that. Look at that movement. She just plops right back down. So she has some body. She has a little bit of volume. Her density, it's a little bit thicker, but I would still say it's appropriate. Of course, this is all the hair to the front. If you wear some of it to the back, of course, that would take away from that. So, you know, just keep that in mind. But overall, again, I still think it is appropriate. Um, I also do like the cut with the ends. I think that's really nice too. Um, but the color, I love the Sandy Blonde. It's one of my all-time favorites. I will constantly keep picking it up. I think it's just a really pretty Sandy Blonde. So you do start off with the number four root. It's, it's not bad. I mean, it is kind of darker, but it is what it is. You know, it really matters is how harsh it is and how well they blend it. And I think they blended it really good. So you can see it does kind of come up a little bit higher so it doesn't really look like a ton of outgrowth really it just looks more like it was kind of intentional at least in my opinion I think so 
but the blend is really nice and then this beautiful sandy blonde I just think it's just a gorgeous color I don't know how else to describe it you can see it for yourself right you can see that it's just really really pretty and it hits the light really nicely too so it kind of gives you that beautiful natural type of luster so it looks like healthy human hair and uh, of course how she feels if you are familiar with Outre's fibers then you would probably know exactly what I'm talking about she's really soft she has that perfect balance of silkiness and coarseness I would say maybe she's a little bit more on the silky side though just just a little bit um, not a whole lot, so just keep that in mind, but I think that uh, she feels extremely natural, really nice and soft, like I said, just feels like healthy hair. And I do also think, in my opinion, she's multicultural, meaning she'll work out for everybody. Um, let's go ahead and see what she looks like from the side and the back. I'm impressed with how she drapes down the back. I think that's really pretty. It really shows those waves really good. So I think that's gorgeous. Let me just pull it all to the front again. Cause like I said, for reviews, I always wear all the hair to the front. Um, so again, with a style like this, you can wear her for casual wear, but I can also see her being worn with a really pretty dress. So if you're going for like a bachelorette party or of course date night, every wig is perfect for date night, at least in my opinion, I think it is. So yeah, she's perfect for so many different situations, but a lot of people don't wanna to wear too long of wigs because of the tangling situation, especially if they're going out on the town or something like that. But thankfully she's not much of a tangler at all. Um, so let me just show you what I'm talking about here. I did not use a brush on her. I didn't think it was really all that necessary. I mean, granted, of course, you can do that if you want. I don't think that's going to mess up this wave pattern whatsoever. But look at just how easy it is to just run your fingers through her. So she's just pretty much a plop on your head and go. I don't think she's going to cause you too much havoc throughout the time you're wearing her. I don't think you're gonna to have to constantly be pulling out your brush or comb. You can just simply take your fingers and quick, just do a little run through and that's all she really needs. That's easy peasy. I love a wig like that. Uh, she's a center part as you can see again she does have this layer that just kind of frames the face like this so it doesn't like I said before it doesn't really drown you out or anything I think that it just gives you a nice um, angle of your face and then the parting space is five inches deep so it comes all the way back to here it's a good depth and width I think um, personally I don't think parts need to be so deep I don't know why they do that, but whatever. People seem to like it, so let's go with it. But yeah, really deep part. She lays super flat, very easy to blend with some powder. Uh, she does have some baby hairs, as you can see here. It says on the stock card that they're more natural. I guess I would kind of agree with that. Um, I don't lay my baby hairs down, as you can see. I think that's my own right there. Hang on. Yeah, that's my own. <laughs> so you got to kind of go searching for them. You can see them right there, but on this side, they're kind of more blended up with the hair. So um, are they the best baby hairs ever? Probably not. But for those who don't like baby hairs, probably wouldn't mind these. And if you want to lay them down, of course, you can always do that too. Uh, it also says here on the stock card that she has pre-plucked edges. I'm not surprised. They really aren't pre-plucked. I'm kind of getting used to this by now. You can see there is some lift up, of course, so just be aware of that if you want to glue her down, do that. I mean, are the edges bad? No, they're not. I think that these edges do look really good. They're just not pre-plucked. That's the only difference. But I do like the shape of them. Again, it just kind of lifts up a little bit there. And I'll show you this side too. So it does pretty much cover up my natural edges, most of it. Um, I mean, they did a tiny little bit of pre-plucking there, but not much. Not enough to where I would really classify it as pre-plucked, but 
it is what it is. I'm used to it by now. Doesn't mean it makes me happy, but I, I guess I wouldn't mind these edges. I just wish they wouldn't say that on the stock card. That's all. But uh, she does come above each ear properly. She does not have ear tabs, so she's really comfortable along the hair, along the edges there and above each ear. Uh, she's got great, amazing stretchability, so without a doubt, I do think she's larger head friendly because there's quite a bit of wiggle room in this cap too, so it's a little bit on the larger side as well. So she should work out for everybody, but she's really comfortable to wear regardless. So um, that's Verena all tied up in one nutshell there. I mean, <laughs> like I said, I tell you the important details, but my recommendation has to be yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I love this wig. I think she's great. And I am going to wear her like a ton. <laughs> I can see myself reaching for her very often. And I think a lot of other people will as well. So yeah, that's how I feel about it. The overall quality, she has more pros and cons. She really doesn't have many cons other than the hairline. But other than that, she's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So that's how I feel about it. Be sure to tell me your thoughts down below. I always look forward to reading your comments. Please let me know too if you have her already. I wouldn't be surprised if some of you already do. So tell me what color you have her in. How do you feel about her now that you have her? And also please let me know if you decide to go pick her up after watching this review. But that's it. That's it. I have nothing more to say <laughs> other than thank you so much for watching. I always do appreciate it and I will catch you next time in my next video. So until next time, bye-bye.